Hey friends, Ash here. Welcome back to Gent Sense. Hope you're doing well. Today is clone haul time. Got in a package from fragranceby.ca with some clones in here that I've never smelled before. Actually, they don't even have pictures listed for these clones yet on their website. So we're gonna see how they are. Not even sure what these are actually supposed to be. Got some handy dandy tester strips. So it's time to see if these are any good. All of them are linked in the description below. Feel free to check them out down there. First, we must open the box. Yay. So here's what I got my hands on. A pretty good idea what this is. Supreme Loam Extreme. Does that remind you of anything? Yeah. Uh, they did the clone uh, Star Nebula Men, which is a clone of Pure Malt. And a really, really, really good one. So if you don't know about that one, I did a video on it. If you're looking for a clone for that fragrance, get that. So that kind of opened my eyes a little bit to fragrance world. And uh, we'll see today if they're a one trick pony or if they're making all kinds of solid stuff. And we have this mocha wood, coffee wood, and <laughs> sour peach. You get it? Which I guess this one is technically Essencia de Flores. So Essencia de Flores, sour peach. And uh, last but not least, this one right here, Rich Man Aqua. Yes, Rich Man Aqua. And this is from Cyrus Parfums. They did a clone of uh, Stronger With You, which I have also covered on this channel in the past. Chancellor Ultimate, I believe is the name of that one. That's all we got in here. Here we go. Start making your guesses now before you crack into them. We've got uh, this guy, which I think you can tell what this is, and this one, which I think you can tell what this is. Supreme Loam Extreme and Sour Peach. Rich Man Aqua, any guesses on that? Mocha Wood. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with this guy right here, Supreme Loam Extreme. And this is another one of those deals, kind of like uh, Mason Alhambra, where you look at it and you think to yourself, wow, they are blatantly copying what they're cloning there. Of course, uh, Guerlain Loam Ideal Extreme. You wonder, is that gonna cause issues down the road for good old fragrance world? I don't know. On the front, you got the name of the fragrance, size and concentration, uh, name of the house up top, on the back, ingredients with your certificate of authenticity, and on the bottom, your batch code. Try to keep this moving pretty quickly so that the video is not crazy, crazy long. Yes, it looks like what you would expect, a cheap Lomity All Extreme. <laughs> wow, got some balls on him, this is brazen. So there is the bottle, a sticker with the uh, info on the front there. Cap slides into place, does not click into place. Go to spray, let's see how close it is to the real deal. Pretty freaking close. That smells good. Presentation's pretty fugly, but good amount of plum in there. Almost like an underlying Ambroxan kind of feel to it, something along those lines that's maybe not quite so prominent in the uh, OG, the real deal, but it's got that plum off the top. You can pick it up That sort of tobacco sweetness as well. It's well done. Of course, these uh, are being tested off of strips, off skin. It could be different, could be not quite as nice off skin, but uh, off the tester strip here, that is a very nice clone, really good. Let's do this one next uh, because it's pretty obvious what it is. Sour Peach Essencia de Flores. So this is a very obvious bitter peach clone you have on the front, name of the fragrance, the size and concentration. It is an 80 mil size, uh, name of the house up top, about pretty much the same, honestly, as the other presentation in that on the back, you have your ingredients, your sticker of authenticity, and then batch code on the bottom. Okay. Bottle looks a little weird. Let me move you over here, friend. So obviously there is Bitter Peach from Tom Ford, and then there is the clone Bright Peach, which looks a bit closer to the Tom Ford as far as the presentation goes, the box and the bottle. This one, quite different looking as far as the bottle goes. Sour Peach. Well, let's see how this one is. See if it's the type of fragrance where it immediately reminds you of what it's cloning or if it's a little bit, a little bit funky. Atomizer is not that great. Oh, yeah, I mean, Peachy, yeah, like peach candy. It smells really nice. Let me go grab really quickly the real deal of this one and then also the other clone so I can do a quick side by side, just real quick. Okay, we got all the culprits here. Let's go ahead and spray bright peach and bitter peach.
I'm getting heat overload. I think my nose is shutting down along with my brain. All three very close as you would expect. Bright peach does have a little more of a sugary aspect as compared to bitter peach. And sour peach actually has more of a candied aspect to it as well. Bitter peach is a little bit deeper overall. Somehow out of the three of these off the tester strip, sour peach is coming across as the sweetest one. I don't know if they know what sour means. It smells good, more candied. Bright peach is a little more powdery than sour peach. Not in a bad way, just slightly different aspects there. And, and out of the three somehow, bitter peach is the one less focused on peach. Like these two take the peach and ramp it up. These are both great alternatives to this. I'd say presentation wise, the Alhambra looks better. But if you're going for the sweetest of the bunch, uh, based off these tester strips, be this one. Okay, let's do this one next. Rich Man Aqua from Cyrus Parfums. Are you a rich man? If you are, this is what you wear. My guess, um, Invictus. Invictus Aqua, rich man aqua. So on the front here, we got the name of the house, name of the fragrance, size and concentration. This is an eau de toilette, little Cyrus logo up top, ingredients on the back. And they actually put their sticker of authenticity on the bottom of the box. Gotta have that sticker. What would you do with that? So here we have the bottle, it has a frosted glass design, it says rich man on the front, a logo on top of the cap, a sticker on the bottom. Yeah, I'm feeling kind of confident that this is uh, probably that Invictus Aqua because of the frosted glass there, but we'll see. There we go. Are you a rich man? Yeah. yeah. This is surprisingly really good. This is like the original Invictus Aqua 2016, which again, not much of a surprise when you look at the frosted glass going on here. That is really surprisingly good. To be fair, the other Cyrus Parfums that I reviewed that I talked about before, that one was also surprisingly good because this is not a house that, you know, that I've really heard about before, or at least before I got that one. Inspired by Paris, the city of art, light, elegance, culture, and absolute romanticism, SPPC creates perfumes that transcend borders and time. Or you just make clones. I mean, you could you could be honest about it. Nobody's judging you here for the most part. Yeah, that is freaking good. If you like Invictus Aqua 2016, bow. There you go. Check that one out. Surprisingly solid stuff so far. This one is going like slight touch green or something. Eh, keep it moving. Mocha wood. Yeah, I got no idea on this one. Mocha wood. So you got the name of the fragrance there on the front, size and concentration, fragrance rolled up top, ingredient sticker on back, batch coat on bottom. It's got kind of a rubbery feel. Ugh. Yeah, rubber box. Well, the box isn't actually rubber. You, you know what I mean. It's like the uh, rubbery feel on the outside. All right, there we go. Mocha wood, kind of cool actually. Like a little alcoholic beverage. Somewhat ornate cap, pretty light in design, fragrance world logo on top of the atomizer, sticker on bottom. All right, Mocha Wood, it's up to you. We gotta finish strong, covering up the other fragrances. Oof, that atomizer sucks. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. So, ambery, sweet coffee and woods. That's, I mean, the name's Mocha Woods, so I'm not really telling you anything you probably didn't already anticipate or know. Got like a little bit of a nuttiness to it. Reminds me of Intense Cafe, but without the rose there getting really powdery. Not that it's devoid of rose, just that it's not white as uh, far on that powdery side. It's really good though. Good haul, good haul this time. I'm gonna work back through these really quick. Uh, Supreme Loam Extreme. It does come across maybe slightly fresher than uh, Loam Ideal Extreme with more of that woodiness, but it's still really, really well done. That's nitpicking. That's really good. If you want an alternative to Loam Ideal Extreme, absolutely check that out. Really good. Uh, Sour Peach. Mm, this one gets a little weird as it dries down. Go back to Bitter Peach and Bright Peach over here. Tell you what it is. This is taking on a little bit of an earthiness as it dries down down on the strip here. So you've got that sweet, sweet peach initially. And yeah, a little sour touch, hence, hence the name, but it's still pretty sweet. Then as it dries, that lingers, you know, it lasts into the dry down here a little bit, but it takes on more of an earthiness, like an undertone of earthiness, a little bit more pronounced than the other two. It still smells good. And after you catch a couple whiffs, it starts to balance. It's like initially when you smell it, you get a little more of that earthiness and then you smell it more and it, it balances out. So it's not bad, pretty good. I think bright peach is better if you're just talking clones like which one is, is best, I'd go Bright Peach. If you can still find it, if you can't, then that's a good alternative. Rich Man Aqua, that is Invictus 2016. That is, I think out of, out of all these, that's probably the closest one to what it's cloning. That's really good. 
That's really good. Yep, still reminds me of intense cafe fragrances like that, but that's real nice. I don't know, I think these three, this one, this one, and this one are all right up there, top notch, if you're looking for alternatives for the fragrances that I've mentioned. This one is not the tops of this fragrance in terms of clones, like there are other clones of this fragrance that I think probably better with. But if you, well, I don't know, it's actually pretty nice. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm back and forth on it, okay? I'm just kind of back and forth. Sometimes I smell this, it's too earthy. It's too, like, a little bitter. Other times I smell it and it's like, no, it's good, it's good. So I don't know, this one I'm just up in the air on. Half the time I'm smelling it off this strip, I think it smells really nice, and then the other half I go smell it in, I think it's a little off. So I don't know, my mind's playing tricks with me. I hate the bottle, I think it looks so friggin' hideous. And also it's uh, wobbly. If you probably doesn't come across very well. But when you look at it, like if I move the table at all, it's uh, it's not flat on the bottom, it's warped. Not that that matters, who cares, it's cheap. All right, that's it, that's the haul. Some really good ones here. Ordered some more, so they'll be in before too long, and uh, I'll see if those are good as well. Uh, that'll do it for me, thank you guys for hanging with me. If you have some more suggestions on clones that I've not covered that you really want me to, shoot me an email, gentsenseonline at gmail.com, just let me know what it is. Stay safe out there, guys. I'll see you tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you later.